In this video we're checking a liner projection on a C11 engine. To measure this accurately you need to hold the liner down snug into the block. This is achieved with short bolts that go under the head bolt holes with steel washers and then fiber washers so you don't wreck the liner flange or the ceiling surface of the block. I'm using four bolts per liner and torquing each bolt to 14 newton meters. That was written in the Caterpillar specs for this engine. To ensure a proper seal between the cylinder head and cylinder block, the liner flange has to stick out a certain amount past the block. We measure the liner flange in four different spots to check it has not sunk on one side and it projects above the block to create a good seal against the head. Using our liner height tool, we measure from the blocked surface onto the liner flange. That liner flange should protrude above the block. The outer black numbers are in 1,000 increments and we need to measure between 2.5 and, and 7. You can see this one is just a bit over 5. You can read the dial gauge however you want, but it is less confusing if you set it to 0 on the block and move forward onto the liner flange. I usually slide the liner tool back and forth a few times just to make sure I get a consistent reading and then write that number down in the chart. A great thing to do when measuring up a block is to fill out a liner projection chart. This is an easy and professional thing to do and it guarantees that your block was in working order when you put it together in case there's a failure later. So let's look at how to find a liner projection chart and how to fill one out. So go to Google, type in Cylinder Liner project, Projection Inspect, that's what Caterpillar calls it. Let's just go to Images to find the one we want. So that third image there, C15, C18, Cylinder Liner Projection, that's the one we want. This is a C11 we're working on, but it's the same formula for all these engines. So I recommend printing this link out so you can fill it out and it's just got everything you need to know, it tells you how to do it, what, what to write down, uh, it gives you part numbers for tooling, uh, part numbers for like the fiber washers you, you use between the hardened washer and the block so you don't damage any ceiling surface. Those are the fiber washers there, 7K1977. So I've printed this one out and we'll have a look through how I filled it out. Up the top there gives you a diagram on where to measure. That's on each liner. That's the front of the engine. I, I, I fill it out the way they tell you to do it. So A is at the front, B, C, D and you go through do one by one. Uh, you, can write, you can write the date what you're doing, this one's a rebuild, so I didn't write hours, the serial number, the machine it came out of, this has come out of a loader. Um, the numbers, the max and mins they got there are for a C15, so I wrote in the ones for a C11, so maximum line of projection 7 there, minimum's 2.5, maximum variation between each cylinder's 3 thou for a C11, and max variation average is 3000 as well. So you go through, you measure each liner. So this is number one liner. So I've got five, 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 and four. You add them together. I've got 19. And then you divide 19 by four measurements. Comes up with 4.75. So the average projection for that liner is four and three quarter thou. Um, so that's in spec. So you go to your next one, which is I got four, four, five, five. That's eighteen divided by four, four and a half. That's in spec. Go through five, five, six, five, twenty-one, five point two five, and you just keep going through and do each liner. Um, as long as they're between two and a half and seven, just measure them all, you wouldn't stop. 
and then you do your variation so to do your variation you so the, the highest number and the lowest number you measure on each liner you take that away from each other so they didn't vary more than one on on liner one they didn't on on liner two and so on on liner four and six they didn't vary at all so that's max variation we're in spec there because we were allowed three thou and we had one and then we have the maximum variation average between adjacent liners so you take your averages from that first column we filled out one and two you take them from each other it's a quarter thou on this one and you just go through each liner can't vary more than three thou average between each liner and as you can see this one is very in spec and then keep this on file and it's a great record to have if there was ever a, a head gasket failure you can show everyone that um, the block was in good working order liner projection is a piece of cake when the blocks flat and everything's new um, it is a different scenario when your blocks worn and you get numbers that are just outside spec or you're right on the edge uh, if you want to see a video on how to tackle that comment in the comment section below if you haven't already clicked and subscribe subscribe to that so you don't miss out on more videos like this cheers guys